All right, hey guys, Jason here, Traditional Bowling Wilderness Podcast. Today we're going to talk about the fact that you can't pull your release, you can't pull through your release, you can't expand your release if you don't at least have a little bit of push happening with it, okay? more What I'm getting at is more importantly than this or this or anything you're doing here is what you're doing here. I want to give you an example of that. So we just shot two arrows you saw it on there. Now it is quite windy out here. You can see everything blowing around. You can hear the wind chimes going. It's, it's windy. Uh, so you know you might have saw one of I think one of those arrows had a little kick on that hog. It had a little kick this way when I shot it but Again, it's because it's quite windy um, and I shoot a lot of FOC. But point being here, I want to make to you is that when you shoot and you come in and draw, if you're at full draw here like this when you're shooting and then you're going to expand through and pull that, you have to have all of this in line and be completely in line like a lot of target shooters are and that's fine. But for me, I'm not, a, I'm not a, that kind of a shooter. But it's important for me to hold this and hang on, wait for that wind. I see my mic blowing all over. Like I said, his wind's whipping through here pretty good. I think we're all right. Um, but I want, when you pull, see if I come into here, my shooting, if I go to then pull that release, if I'm going to pull through that release, when I pull here, I'm going to pull this bow arm. Okay, when I pull here, the bow arm moves. I notice that. Okay, I notice when I shoot that because I try, I'm always working on my release. My release is the worst thing I have. I can never release a string good. My fingers do not fully release like they should. Even if I pull through, it's not a release. It's a let the string slip off and the string has to come off. It's kind of a, it's a, something I fought my whole life. But what I notice is when I try to come in and draw and then I'm going to, pull through my release what happens is I I end up pulling my bow when I release I pull my bow arm over when I pull here it pulls here so I noticed that I was shooting to my left a lot as I come in and shoot it would pull I'm going to try and demonstrate that for you with this one arrow let's just shoot one at the hog I'm going to try and demonstrate that where you can see it right over my shoulder where I'm not going to put the push that I do on my bow arm and I'm going to just try and hold the bow arm static and try and take a shot here so that it, you can see it. So let's see here. So I'm going to pull through my release. Okay, and it actually didn't do too bad. You can see again the kick because it's this wind is just whipping through here like crazy. But you saw, hang on, we'll wait for that wind to die a second so it's not going to blow it out here sound wise. But you saw that arrow or you saw me try to do that I probably still pushed let me grab those I'll be right back so I, I, I may not be able to reduplicate it because of the fact that I shoot I, I shoot the right way with my bow arm now but what I'm trying to get at here is that this is all fine and dandy and I don't really care what you do here I the reason I say I don't care what you do with your release is because my release sucks it's always sucked my release is always my number one problem but it's not an issue because you want to keep this arm going forward that is the key so when I'm shooting okay and I come in and I draw if I don't if I try to hold this arm static when I pull more on here this pulls that bow arm off target now I'm exaggerating it's usually just a little bit but if I try to hold this arm static I notice that I am shooting to the left all the time when I do that if I continually push this arm forward so that is my release cue is not pull through or tighten tension here I hold pretty steady here but it is the fact that I push with this arm into the target that gives me my accuracy if I don't do that my hits go to the left if I take this and I line that up and I push like that see there see how it didn't if I'm not pushing it goes to the left that's not pushing my bow arm that's letting it do it. Like I said, I didn't know if we could duplicate it. Now we'll do it where we're going to actually push that in. And we're going to use that. Hang on, I'm going to have to hide my shirt here so it's not getting snagged. But uh, I'm going to push this one in with my bow arm the way I do now. Because that wind will let us. Like I said, you might see some arrow kicking. You can see the wind's whipping here. All right, here we go. Now we're going to push on release. 
See the difference? See how that arrow's going where I want it to? That's because we are pushing that bow arm. If I don't push that bow arm, it shoots to the left because when I pull through, it kicks. When I put more pressure here, even if I'm not pulling through, but when I put pressure here, it pulls that arrow over. But if I push that bow arm into my target, that's where we get it. We'll go for the hog. See how it puts it right there because I'm pushing that bow arm forward and it alleviates any left or right on there. That's the point I'm trying to make. Whatever you do with your release, I know everybody talks about a release as being a very big deal and your release is everything and all that kind of stuff. To me, release is irrelevant. I don't care much about my release at all, but I need that bow arm going straight towards that target. Um, and that's why a lot of, a lot of hill style bow shooters shoot with a, uh, with a bent elbow. They have that elbow bent so that they can apply that force forward. Uh, there's a lot of things that are done a lot of different ways in the world and I am not here to tell you any archery instruction. I'm the worst person for it. Um, and I don't care about it because uh, my world is inside of 20 yards and I can shoot perfect inside of 20 yards. So I, I don't care about that stuff, but I do care that my accuracy inside that 20 yards is as best as it can be. I don't care about shooting at 25 or 30 or 35 or 40 or any of that stuff doesn't matter. But in my, my hunting zones, my killing zones, where I want to put these animals down, I can't, I'm very concerned with that accuracy. That accuracy in my hunting situations comes from the fact that that bow arm is always pushing forward. And you may not even see it. It's not even a hard push, but it is going from holding to... Mm, that little, you know, I can feel that push and putting that energy and that is actually what pulls my string away from my fingers. Okay, it's not me releasing as much as it is popping it out because the bow arm going forward in my mind pushing is my signal for this hand to let go. And it works really good. So hopefully it's a little tip for you, but if you're finding that your groups are wandering around or you're not getting that control that you're looking for, your groups are big, try pushing that bow arm into that target at release right before you release right before you let that string go put that forward pressure on that bow arm into your target push the arrow into the target and see if that's going to help you like i said does for me sorry about the wind chimes everything like i said super windy day but uh it's also my only day that i'm here and not hunting where i can actually make these kind of videos for you it's middle hunt season i'm hunting hard here so but a hog hunting season but that is what I'm talking about. And you can see the examples, you know, I mean, the shots are great on the hog. The that other shot on the deer is good. It's actually kicked a little bit because of the wind. Uh, but that one, you can see how far off it is. That is because if I do not push that bow arm, when I pull my release, when I go to re pull that stretch a little bit on that release, it's dumping that bow arm over. Um, so, and again, the, the, but that's gonna give you that reality of that is, you know, when you shoot, push that bow arm, push that last little bit. It's not a, it's not even a physical extension as much as it is a, just a, you know, your static, 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 push, boom, and let it go. And it's going to make that difference for you. It's helped me tremendously. I've been shooting that way now for the last probably month and a half where it's constantly, I will not let go unless I'm pushing that bow arm into that target. Maybe it'll help you too. Thanks for watching.